Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Emerald News. I'm your host, Kate, and welcome. And as you can tell, the purple crystal has has grown a bit. That must be its magical powers. Although, oh, yeah, another village. Oh, yeah, another village was outside. Or wandering villager again i don't remember mm -hmm. her name that much to be honest the mob's kind of forgettable in my honest opinion but uh yeah as i was saying one of my co-hosts that was supposed to be here just vanished mm -hmm. oh god and he won't shut up yeah but anyways yeah the, the, my my co-host mm -hmm. that was supposed to be here and fill in for me was supposed to be here, but he's not here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I mean, there are. I mean, I didn't catch it. I mean, on the cameras, like in, in one of the cameras mm -hmm. I have installed, that, or actually the only camera that's installed, the Dragon mm -hmm. One, which I need to get some more security cameras. Let's just say it caught him touching the crystal and he left. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to call him. Or something. Yeah, but still, he just vanished. And yeah, that that's about it. But hey, maybe maybe he might come back. But anyways, let's get on to the news. The first thing, the possible return of Grey Day Andre. Now, please note that this story is only being filled up, is only being put as filler. Why? Because, trust me, like I mentioned in the last episode, these are getting really hard because I don't like to co I don't want to talk about political stuff on this show, or stuff that I don't- that doesn't really interest me. But still, Grey Day Under A could possibly return. Possibly. It- it depends. That's- that's really all I have to say about the situation, but hey, if Grey Day Under A does return, that's going to be really good, because he's one of my favorite YouTubers, and he's really funny. So yeah. Now, the second thing, which is actually a weapon leak for Apex Legends. Now, one of the new characters called The Revenant, which I think that's her name. Yeah. Yeah, Re Revenant, I guess. So yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know. But... But yeah, this new character was leaked, and apparently its weapon was also leaked as well. What was this weapon? Well, I'll tell, well, I'll tell ya, it's this, it's this very, huh? it's this very badass looking futuristic red side that looks like yeah. something that would come out of Doom Eternal. So yeah. Again, uh -huh. I, I really don't care about the situation actually, because here's the thing. Uh -huh. The thing is... I really do not care about Apex Legends whatsoever. I know that's basically my bias showing through this, and most news shows aren't really supposed to be biased, but hey, nothing wrong with sharing my opinion, and also most news stations don't really care about don't really care about that part and will usually share their own opinion as well, even if it's not needed. So yeah, I have my excuses. But yeah. Anyways. I would like to say this weapon does look really badass because again, it's a, uh -huh. it's something that looks like it would come out of Doom Eternal, so, yeah. So now we're going to get to the third. Uh, uh -huh. he oh God, he won't shut up. Yeah, this, uh -huh. there are no outtakes here. But anyways, now the third story. The FNAF uh -huh. merch store is offline. Now this news came out a few days ago, and uh -huh. I don't know if the store is back up. Which, if it is, then uh. Ray, I guess. Yeah, so basically the FNAF AR store is down, and some people are speculating that, hey, maybe this is the death of the game. Which, I doubt it's the death of the game, but, you know, it, it really isn't, because, like, the AR merch store isn't the only reason why Illumix is gaining money. It's, it's also, like, the microtransactions and skins for FNAF AR that is the reason why they're gaining so much money. Which, uh, funny story, I... I never told my parents this, but uh -huh. let's just say I wasted a hundred dollars on FNAF AR, so yeah, not really my greatest achievement. Uh -huh. The reason why I did it, because I thought the money was going to Scott, even if I realized that the money, it sure, some of it could have been going to Scott, but most of it was going into pockets of Illumix, so yeah, am I still mad about it? Yes. Am I annoyed uh -huh. about it? Absolutely. So, yeah. So people were taking this as like the death of the 
game, even if, you know, they're new, even if, you know, there's another Valor skin coming out, which, uh, yeah, I mean, st Steampunk is fine, but I'm more of a Cyberpunk fan, if you ask me. But, anyways, yeah, the merch store has been closed, and also, and also, it is kind of a good thing this merch store has been closed, because this merch store also has some controversies. Two of them. One of them is some people are not getting their getting the merch and it's hard to get a refund from the store and also they screwed over Ethan Boom with the same reason of not being able to have refunds get in. Or well, actually they allow refunds but it's really hard to get a refund so yeah. Those are the two reasons why I don't like the FNAF AR merch store. And also, honestly, I would like to get something from it, but again, I don't want to get scammed. I don't want to have to realize that I wasted money on something I wanted, so yeah.